not just okay guys so today our goal is going to be simple okay we have three goals our goal is to organize our binder or our composition book according to the video that you're watching today goal number two is to work on your on any assignments you are missing and get your grade up so remember our goal is always for everyone to be passing um, everyone to be passing our class that's our goal and goal number three is you do have homework this weekend if you are finished organizing your binder you're finished and you're all caught up and you're not missing anything then you're going to start working on the homework for the weekend okay the video is already uploaded onto YouTube the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go through the order of the assignments that you owe me okay these are the grades that I've taken assignment number one looks like this we took notes in class pretty much we finished all of it in class and I think some classes didn't finish the back part which was to find the inverse. Okay, so front and back, that's what you owe me for assignment number one. We move to assignment number two. Assignment number two was a small sheet of paper, half a sheet of paper. You needed to complete one through 30. We finished this on March 15, 2016. Okay, the next assignment is homework number one. We took notes in class. There is a video up. There's also It's also up on Google Classroom. You had homework number one, which was to find the inverse of the seven questions here. You could have eight, nine, and 10 as extra credit. There's also on Google Classroom. You turn to the next page, the next assignment is homework number two. You needed to state the transformations, the domain and range for number seven. In class, we took notes on the first page, on the front page, I guess you could say, and you were responsible for doing the back page. For each of these problems, you have to explain what the transformation is and what the domain and range is for each. Okay, homework number three was to graph these transformations one through 12. If you are in third period or seventh period, you had to complete the table. If you are not in third or seventh, you had to only do A, B, H, and K, domain and range, asymptote, and the graph. Okay, you do everything except for the table, front and back, one through 12. Okay, the next thing are video notes on March 21st. You needed to watch this video and take notes for the front page. The next part is we did a little recap on what we had learned so far and everything that we had done in the class. We had a textbook assignment. And on the back of that textbook assignment, we took our quiz. Our quiz number one, was page 46, number 11, 12, and 15, and page 477. It's called Teeks Review. It doesn't really have a number, but that was like your number one. Okay, let's go to the next page, or the next assignment. Are your video notes on graphing log, just kidding, video notes on properties of logs. We did this on March 24th, and all you had to do was basically take notes. Let's go to the next page, um, Common Assessment 1. Oh, just kidding. Math Lab Properties of Logs. We did this in the Event Center on March 24th. Then we took our test. Test corrections are important. If you haven't taken your test, there's only about four of you who still haven't taken it. You need to. Um, test corrections are important. You can earn half of your points back. Okay, and then the last thing we did and took a grade for was the practice worksheet solving exponentials. There is a video on this, and you can take notes. It was on April 7th. Thank you.